Praise the Lord. Good morning. We are going to study the word of the Lord. Uh, last time I found you that you're going to be giving issuing out papers. A pieces of papers that you'll take home with a summary of what we'll have learned in the Bible. That will, will help you remind you of what we've learned about. But there is also another reason why we do it. When you turn that paper, if you have brought a pen, uh, you will be able to take note of a few um, uh, points that you will want to remember. Yes, Praise the Lord indeed. Mm. <coughs> we are uh, learning about a theme called the love of God. I want you to take a moment and ask yourself, why do we learn about the love of God? Ask yourself questions. Uh, maybe you are not here last time. But ask yourself, why do we learn about the love of God? God is God, but why do we learn about his love? What should we learn about the love of God? Yes, Praise the Lord. It's possible that the answer will be found in listening. I urge you to listen. We are in school right now. Please hear for yourself. Uh, slowly, you will know whether the love of God is made perfect in you or if you are still seeking for it to be perfected in you but when you having known what it is. Yes, Praise the Lord. A summary therefore of where have come. Uh, we learned that there are three types of love in the Bible. I told you that there are people that make them many. But different schools of thought agree that at least there are three categories. There is the love between spouses. That is Eros love between lovers that is drawn by what they see uh, to bring their bodies together we found that the, the, what is special about that kind of love is reserved for those that are married because uh, it, uh, because we learned that besides those uh, besides that relationship sexual intercourse is not allowed outside marriage is not allowed so only in marriage is eros love permitted the second type of love uh, is phileo love or filial love it is the brotherly love that we have. The brotherly love that we share. Uh, that kind of love is in the caliber of, of filial love. It means that you don't even have to be believers. People can, love, can, have, can share that uh, manner of love. But even those that have Jesus, they are capable of having that brotherly love. It is a brotherly love. 
and everything that goes with that. Uh, the, the brotherly love has no other last attack There is no other interest that is being introduced. It is just brotherly. But the manner of love that we're going to learn about in the days to come, it is the agape love. Agape love. Agape. Love, agape love. That is the manner of love that God loved uh, to his people. It is the manner of love where you love another without anything that you, you expect. It is the love that you give yourself over for another person. It is the kind of uh, love that is selfless even to uh, people that don't like you. It is the manner of love where you give a cup of water to someone that you know doesn't love you. It is a holy kind of love. It is a kind of love that doesn't have expectations. And that love was found only in Jesus Christ. Clap your hands for Jesus. The, kind, the person that gives that kind of love and who has it in perfection is Jesus. It cannot exist in a human being without Jesus giving it to them. That kind of love by the grace of God sometimes we are able to have it. And we bear the fruit that is of that love. And tomorrow we fail. And we go back to the fellow love. That manner of love. It is the kind of love uh, between a, a husband and wife. God wants them to also have that kind no, of love. Eros. Even when they have Eros love. But if they share also the Agape love, it becomes perfected. Even them that have the brotherly kind of love, if only they would raise the bar in little, and they raise it just a little and the grace of the Lord enables them to have the agape love they are able to relate forever amen. say amen today the rare four today we are going to talk about agape love alone uh, there are different things that we say we love. That is the first point on your papers, your pieces of papers. There are so many things that you could say you love. An example. You will also find your own example. I love my dad so much. I love traveling. I love your car. I love potatoes. I love that dog. I love it when it rains. Uh, you can add the whole list of other things when you use the word to love. I want you to pause a little. Do you hear that we are saying that we love all those things? You love it when it rains. You love potatoes. Me, I love uh, cassava leaves. I love traveling. You love someone's car. I, I love uh, to have conversations with people. I love, I love, I love. One point. One verb. One verb. Uh, one verb. That says to love. Even you, when you come to love, you that uh, but you, you, if you come to that point, you'll also understand that that kind of love, though it has one verb, but it is not a similar kind of love. Uh, you will understand that even when we use that same verb to love, but we don't really feel the same way about the different things. 
That is why the Bible helps us to differentiate the kinds of love. If we are Bible readers, if we are Bible students, that we may become uh, disciples of Jesus while we are in this world, please differentiate the kinds of love that you have to things. Differentiate things that you call to love. Uh, differentiate things that you say you love Kukimana, because the Lord nayo, in the journey with him he will teach you what the kinds of love that exist yes, praise the Lord but are you following? Have you heard all those things? add that you also love money you see it is all to love I love your church. All those things are called to love. But all those things are not compelled by the same thing. What is compelling it? What is compelling you to love a beautiful dog? What compels you to love when it rains? What compels you to love your dad? What compels you to love potatoes? It's not the same uh, uh, all in those kinds of love is things that give us pleasure. When I love dad, it comes back to me. When I love potatoes, it comes back to me. When I love traveling, it comes back to me. At the end of it all, it comes back to things that make you feel good. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Are you hearing it? Uh, when you go back to all the things that we claim to love, it comes back to all the things that actually give us pleasure or make us feel good. We are doing it for ourselves. We are selfish uh, compared to those things. Yes, Hashem. Praise the Lord. The second thing. Uh, the agape love is above all the other forms of love, the two forms of love that we've just talked about. It is complete. It is selfless towards them that deserve it and those that are undeserving. Think a little. Agape love. Agape love. Urukundo. Agape love. It is the only kind of love that enables you to love someone when they deserve it or not. Are we still together? It is the only form of love that enables you to love someone when they deserve it or not. And that love only has, is, below, is found in one person and that is Jesus Christ. Or let's say it is with God. Agape love. Agape love. Urukundo rwitwa agape. The love that is called agape love. Niyo mpamvu Yohana gatatu 13 That is why in John chapter 3 verse 16 havuga ngo it says Kuko Imana yakunza bari mu isi cyane byatumye itanga ucakaro ngo itanga umwana wayo w'ikinege kugira ngo umwizera wese atarimbuka ahubwo ahabwo ubugingo buhoraho. It says that uh, for God so loved the world uh, that he gave his only begotten son that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life. Please under, underline that word that he gave. Yes, Ashimicha. Praise the Lord. Murabzum Vayuko. Did you notice that that the agape love gives and it actually gives a lot? Yes, Ashimne. Praise the Lord. There is uh, an image that I requested for. Aha, Murabona. Are you seeing that illustration? Buriya urukundo urukundo 
eros na ruri ya filia rwa bagenzi banyu nurwo umugore numugabo bifite ukuntu rwose ari urukundo nuko biganisha ahantu hatandukanye ariko byo byitwa urukundo biraho you see you see the agape love and the, uh, the eros love and the filial love uh, between brothers and sisters and between spouses, they are all types of love but they have their different intentions and they lead to different uh, outcomes. Uh, they exist there, just there. The love that we are going to ask from the Lord is called agape love. Nimurebe ukuntu rungana see how it is the its size ruri ya rukundo rumira zose that form of love swallows all the ruri other forms of love ruri kuba umutuku orange it is in that orange color the big ruramira zose it holds everything all the forms of love rugushoboza gukunda umugore wawe numugabo wawe mu buryo bwiza it enables you to love your husband or your wife in the right way rugushoboza gukunda mugenzi wawe mu buryo burenze juste brother and sister uh, it enables you to love your your brother your sister above your, your expectations agape love agape love nurukundo igipimo cyarwo kiri hejuru its measure is up is high igipimo cy'urukundo agape ruri hejuru the measure of the agape love is high kurushikira ntibitworohera to lay hold of it is not easy cyera kiyo ciye bugufu kamenya kurugira ari imana until you humble yourself and understand and accept that it is only god that has it turaba kristo even though we are uh, christians dukunda nurukundo rwa kivandimo usually we have the brotherly love between us nubwo twashatse even if we are married akenshi tugarukira ku rukundo rwa kivandimo usually we uh, we stop at the uh, the filial love ariko mu nkundo zose zibaho but in all the forms of love that exist imana ibidusaba kuzamuka ngo dukunda urukunda gape god expects us and requests us to raise the bar and have the agape love hallelujah praise the lord urukunda gape tuzareba qualite zarwo we shall see the qualities of agape love ruri hangana it is patient it is forgiving it does not seek evil it is patient it's long suffering it is hopeful that love muri brothers and sisters muri bene data ntabwo ari uko dukirijwe turugira in between brothers and sisters it's not that we are born again that automatically ntabwo ari uko umuhungu n'umukobwa bakundanye barugira it is not that uh, a girl and a boy fell in love that they automatically have that love ishurirwa tukarusaba kandi twajya turutsindwaho tukarusaba it is it is required of us that we should request from the lord to give us that love and when we fail we again humble ourselves and ask the lord to help us nimurebe ukuntu rumira ziriya zose see how it swallows up all the other forms of love imana data the lord jesus mu rugendo tugendana nayo in the journey that we move with him mu byo tunyuramo on what we go through idufasha kuzamura ba it it he helps us to raise is the bar idufashi ikreya circumstances zituma tuzamura ibipimo by'urukundo rwacu he causes us to meet circumstances that cause us to raise the bar and 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 have si a higher love it is there are for not unheard of si kibazo it is not a problem ariko nokuvuga ngo imana izakwerekana ngo dore igipimo cyo gukunda but if god will show you that see the measure of love urwo rukundo that love rukunda taruko bakugirie neza it loves regardless of if they have done good to you ntabwo rukunda kuko baguhaye it does not love because you've been given ntabwo rukunda kuko bakogeje it is it does not love because you've been washed rurakunda it just loves urwo rukundo ni yesu that love is jesus amen hallelujah yes it is jesus ni yesu ubwe it is jesus himself ni yesu ubwe it is jesus himself ni yesu ubwe it is jesus hallelujah the third thing urwo rukundo that love ntabwo rurangwa na maranga mutima it is not um it is not illustrated by our emotions eros rukundo rw'umuhungu n'umukobwa umugore n'umugabo eros love between lovers 
It has a lot of emotions attached to it. It is uh, guided by emotions. Today it might be high and tomorrow the, me the measure is low. It goes with feelings. It goes with how people woke up that day. It goes with what people have done for you. It, it, it goes with how you feel that moment. It changes with how someone woke up that day. Agape love is not changed by emotion. It is not just a feeling. It is not something that you feel. It is not something that you seek inside you. Um, loving to the extent of loving someone that murdered your person. It is something that our minds can't comprehend. It is something that the human nature cannot understand. Uh, loving a wife that uh, you, uh, uh, a man that beats uh, you, that is just an example. It is brought about by Jesus. Uh, it is not understandable. It is uncomprehendable. You cannot explain it. It is something that comes from the Lord. Praise the Lord. That is a measure. Beloved, I want us that as we learn this teaching, uh, yeah, you should consider uh, um, Christians that divorce. See how it goes. The perfected love is missing in one of them. That if that agape love is present in one of them, uh, <laughs> If that measure of love that uh, belongs to God, that comes from the Lord, and if in one of them, one of the spouses has the agape love, agape love is a willingness too. It is a willingness. It is not just a, an emotion. Because how we are created, when someone does something, you have to repack it to give them back. Why should I do this while they are not doing the same thing? That is how we live. And we clap for ourselves. Hallelujah. And we clap for ourselves. What if it were you? If someone did this to you, what would you do? But Agape loves. loves at all times. Amen. Oh, I'm a shy, Clap your hands for Jesus. It is uh, the Lord Jesus who gave us the good things. I don't teach you this because I'm perfected at it. But I love to know. I love to know the things pertaining to God. I, I struggle with them. But having known that that is how they ought to be. Hallelujah. Amen. Yes, Hashim. Praise the Lord. Peter. Peter. Peter, uh, Peter, who is always an example for us. I know, I told you last time that Peter yes, told Peter Jesus, Jesus, Jesus asked him three times that Peter, do you love me? Do you know that Peter wasn't even lying? In, at the depth of his heart, in what his mind can comprehend, he said that I, I love you. Jesus came back the second time. That Peter, do you love me? Peter, Peter said, I love you. The third time, Jesus, uh, Peter was grieved. And said, that, But you know all things. Why are you asking this? Know for yourself if I love you. Or if I don't love you. The Bible commentaries show us. Uh, Peter was talking about the, uh, the love that he has for yes, agape. Jesus was reclaiming the agape love. Uh, I want to tell 
telling you that Jesus doesn't like it when you just love him a brotherly love. Please, if you forget everything that I said, please remember this. Jesus always carries us to a place where we raise the measure to which we love him. He will do different things so that you may know where you're standing. Yes, Praise the Lord. Peter once told Jesus that if everyone forsakes you, I will stick with you. And he, wasn't lying. he was talking about his emotions. He was talking about his feelings. When a man and a woman are, are, are saying their vows here in front of the you know they are not telling each other lies. They say I love you. Only death. Only death will do us part. But you know those people are not lying depending on their emotions at that time. You know when I'm teaching I'm also feeling happy because I learned. But you see when uh, tests to the family come You get to know if what they were saying was actually the truth It, it, it goes through tests They are tested and the Lord permits that you go to testing. But you know God intends that they raise the measure of love. Hallelujah. Amen. God does in such a way that every one of us should raise their bar. That, that love that you claim before people was just emotions. It was emotions. What I want. Uh, Jesus himself loves agape love. And I want to enable you to also love your, your spouse agape love. Are we still together? We have come to the end. Agape love, uh, we are enabled to have agape love by Lord Jesus. Uh, besides Jesus, it's not possible. It's, it doesn't exist. When we have Jesus, we are able to have a love that grows slowly and agape love becomes possible. Uh, a servant of God told us uh, recently while we were in a training at CLA Pastor Rick Warren he was teaching pastors he told us a word it wasn't my first time to hear that word that when Jesus calls us uh, the Lord Jesus calls us that come and see come and see come and see uh, you know when we have just gotten saved the Lord Jesus is telling us come and see and then we go uh, when we get uh, as we progress we find that it is come and die that come and die come and die beloved the words of the Lord are strong for us if you follow the word of the Lord per word you could get offended. Do you know in agape, in agape love God teaches you slowly. It requires you to die. It requires you to die. It requires you to die on to those things that you love. It requires you to die to have freedom from the people that you love. Things that you love. To get uh, uh, set free from things that you love. That you're not enslaved by things that you love. So that you get set free from things that you love. The last scripture. I've come to the end. Because 
utikore umusaraba we ngo nkurikire ntashobora kuba umwigishwa wanje mera Yesu amashya now great multitudes went with him and he turned and said to them if anyone comes to me and does not hate his father and mother wife and children brothers and sisters yes and his own life also he cannot become my disciple urukunda gape the agape love rugusaba kwivaho it requires you to become selfless if you still if you still hold on to yourself you cannot uh, uh, experience it because what enables it because what causes it not to become possible it is me self self yewe me yewe me yewe how about me how about me and then me that love abagabo barushaka mu bagore ntirushike men seek for written their wives and they still abagore barushakisha mu bagabo bakarubura women seek for written their husbands and they ntamunushobora kuzuza vide ziba muri wowe there is no person that can uh, fill the vacuum in your in yourself in umuntu umwe rwuzuza ni yesu the only person that can fill it is jesus umuntu umwe ushobora kukuzuza the only person that can fill you is jesus ukanyurwa it is him who can cause you to get hari bibazo even a miss problems when no one has loved you when no one has applauded you but you feel contented in yourself in it is the lord jesus that uh, enables that in the journey therefore in the different forms of love ni byiza ko turi muri yisi turakunda byanze bikunze it is good as we are in this world there are things that we love and it is your right to love ariko hato na hato but day by day umenye ngo urukundo rutunganijwe na agape know that the perfected love is the agape love uzajya rugusaba it will require you imana izaje kugenderera even god will visit you ikwigishe gukunda bagenzi bawe ataruko bagukunda and he will teach you to love your brethren without expectation and he will teach you to let go uh, let's understand this letting go is not hating it is being set free being set free from children setting free your spouse from the things that you possess uh, from school and education so that you may follow Jesus be set free that is the perfected love amen let us pray mwami imana ishobora byose mu izina rya Yesu turi imbere yawe utwigisha amagambo akomeye ariko aryoshye kutubwira urukundo rutunganijwe rwitwa agape mwami tutagira dushakisha rutari rwashika muri twe tuzi neza ko rubonerwa muri wowe mwami udufashe udufashe urukundo rwacu rurenge urwa bene data rurenge gukundana nka bene data rurenge gukundana nk'umugore n'umugabo rurenge gukundana nk'umukobwa n'umuhungu rurenge gukunda nk'uko umuntu akunda ibintu byiyise tuzamura igipimo muri wowe dushoboze mwami twe kukugeranya nibintu twe kukunganya nabantu twe kukuringaniza nibyo dukunda wo uri isumbuye uri hejuru cyane uri hejuru cyane mwami dufashe turekure kugira ngo tubashe kugenda inzira yawe ni mu izina rya Yesu tubisabye twizeye kutwumvise vuga ngo amen amen imani duha no mugisha may the lord bless you ukawera ndakunyotewe wiruganze muri nje unyigishe